Saturday the 30th of January and we've come to the new house because our flooring is now finally finished so it's been um, just over a month since we got the keys and we've had the kitchen redone we've had a um, whole heap of electrical done and now we've had the flooring done so we are ready to move in next week and I just wanted to give you a bit of a look of the flooring okay so the very first thing you're going to see is the entryway and i do think this is probably the most exciting part of the flooring it is herringbone and it is absolutely beautiful it's raining out so we're making a real mess of it but this is it this is the candine spanish cherry in the herringbone I'll just get up a bit closer I really like the variation between the different planks. I think it just looks really nice. And then we go in, you'll see we've got the little border between the two rooms on the thresholds. And then we go into the utility. I just think it looks lovely, really, really beautiful. And here it is in the kitchen, obviously, imagining these things together but not actually seeing it until now it's been tricky but it looks exactly how i planned it isn't dark too dark it's nice and warm and i just think it looks beautiful let me know down below in the comments what you think of the flooring and the blue kitchen so we've got the dining room and obviously it matches this pendant. We'll take the plastic off this at some point once everything's done and the move's done. It matches really well. I just think as well it makes all of the rooms seem so much bigger. Whereas previously it was a bit hard to see because everything was just white and grey. It all blended. Whereas now it's just so much more distinct. So I'm going to just show you upstairs as well now. We have carpet, which we decided to put in on the stairs alone just for the time being because the house is still settling and, you know, this is expensive to lay and it, we will do the, the same, the, the wider planks, not the herringbone, obviously, but we'll have the same colour on the stairs and then the nosings will be a brass inlay, which is amazing, like on this bottom one the brass inlay will go around the curve and we've got those on all the stairs but for the time being while the house is still settling we had to just get carpet okay so this is the upstairs we've just got the planks the whole way up here so this is scott's office and i love the way it looks with the hallway just how it goes all the way down and then this is our bedroom. Beautiful long hallway. <clears throat> and look at that floor. Wow. So this is the Amtico Corona Argent, which is sort of a Victorian style, which was obviously what we were going for. We wanted the house to look sort of a bit more traditional and heritage because the front of the facade is Edwardian inspired so I've taken that inspiration into the house mind my dirty dirty shoes oh it's stunning isn't it I love the just how they butt up against each other so nicely now one thing about bathrooms in the UK is that they are wet, not wet rooms. So there's no floor waste and they put the showers up on this raised shower pan. It is not a thing that we are into, but it is what we have. Um, so, you know, those of you in Australia watching, that's why we have the shower raised up like that. 
um, because yeah, there's no floor waste. It's very strange. So this weekend, Scott's going to install the vanities and the mirrors, and they will look beautiful with that floor. Oh, I just I can't get over how gorgeous this looks. It's absorbing the sound really well as well. And look at this. This is the bathroom that I will clean. So you can see the bath. They put these plastic panels on the front. There's one. There it is. So we're hoping one day maybe we can actually tie all that because it looks quite strange having this shiny plastic. But yeah, this is the beautiful Corona Argent, the Amtico. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. So these are not um, ceramic tiles. These are plastic, which again, it's not something that you really see commonly in Australia, but over here it's definitely the most appealing option that people use and um, it's the most common thing these days. Okay, so that is um, a bit of a tour of the house with the flooring done. I hope you like it as much as we do. I'm very, very excited because now that that's done, there's just a couple of things this week for the builders to do. They're fixing some last snags and then we'll start moving in late next week and next weekend. So um, I'm really excited to finally live here. It's been a very long time coming. In fact, on Monday, it will be, I think, about 12 months since we reserved the property and paid the initial deposit. So we've had this block of land and this particular design on our radar since December 2019. And by then, we hadn't even moved to the UK at that point, but we knew what we wanted. And as soon as we moved here, it was only a few weeks since we moved to the UK that we actually reserved this property. So it's been a long process with COVID delaying our initial completion which was meant to be August 2020. Um, it then got pushed back, of course, and we are now finally at the point where we can move in in the beginning of February. So, yeah, it just feels like a very, 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 very long process that is finally coming to an end. Um, this weekend, we're here and we are going to be doing some things around the house. So. Today we've got to get the fridge in, which is amazing because, you know, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that the whole reason that we really got the kitchen done from the get-go was because we wanted to fit a big French door fridge in. We just did not want the um, tiny integrated fridge freezer because we're real um, foodies. We love cooking and it's just not practical for us. We need a kitchen that works for us. So we've done that crazy crazy change to basically remodel the entire kitchen <laughs> um, but we're getting that fridge in today so it's going to be good Scott's also going to install the pull out larder which arrived this week um, we're going to hopefully get the vanities installed the mirrors installed in the bathrooms and put the fridge uh, sorry washing machine and dryer back in to the laundry <laughs>
drama getting it in um here we did it it's got a tiny little dent but we're going to put a magnet on there and scott's now in the process of installing the pull out larder so something like this so that bit's in and these are the drawers or shelves sorry and he's just about to put the door on to unpack three of my clothes boxes and there wasn't a lot in there to be honest but some of my long dresses and this beautiful vintage stole and the other thing that was in there which I was quite worried about was my wedding dress go downstairs and see how Scott's going with the larder hello looking good it's worked out all right looks awesome hello we are back home uh, we are surrounded by packing paper and boxes and we are back after a really long and tiring day over at the house so we managed to get the fridge inside which was really difficult uh, trying to get it up the step into the laundry and lifting it and yeah it was pretty rough uh, we managed to get it in we got, gave it a little bit of a dent but you know you can't win them all just take these off um, and we in well Scott installed the larder unit and the cabinet doors on the front and I'm hung up some clothes and put some clothes away and then tomorrow we're back over there to do more I think Scott wants to install the vanity units and I'm probably gonna mop because the floor's really dirty already from the wet feet so I've already realized that our floor is going to need mopping regularly um, and it's just a mess at the moment. It's a real mess with packing boxes and things like that. So just slowly do those things. And then next week it's time for the actual move. So we're just going to have some dinner. It's pretty late. It's nearly 10 p.m. I think. So we're going to have something for dinner and just, yeah, have a wine and go to bed. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>
get some washing on. That's it. Happy you, to work. Utilities finished. <laughs> Very funny. Hi, so I've just come home from running a few errands and getting some groceries and picking up some plumbing thing for Scott. And got home and he's actually been getting up to some jobs. So I'm upstairs in the bedroom. I'm gonna show you what he's done. Okay, so he's removed the sink in our ensuite and hasn't just made a mess. He's installed the mirror. So there it is, that IKEA Hemnes. Hi. And it opens up. It's got this little shelf here, so <clears throat> I guess you put like the toothbrushes or whatever you use regularly there. And then it's got all of this space inside. And there's glass shelves which you can adjust. So that's there and those cords are up the top because we've got a light that's going above it as well. So that's really good and then the sinks will go there and the vanity unit will go here with the drawers in it. So yeah, that's looking great. It looks really nice with the tones of the floor and tiles I think. Because we've got that darker grey there and the darker grey here in the mirror. So yeah, what do you think? Let me know what you think of the mirror in the comments down below. And I thought while I'm actually here, you can see my hoodie. This is from Australia, it's a company called Lifewear. I think they've actually rebranded. Um, I'll tag them down below. But they make um, <clears throat> clothing and apparel um, made with the art of Aboriginal artists. Um, and it represents their stories of their families because all of the symbols are storytelling in Aboriginal art. So yeah, I love this hoodie. It's really beautiful and I love supporting Aboriginal artists. The room feel bigger, I think, because that mirror is so big. Pew pew. <laughs> Are you feel big. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you like your gun? Seems pretty sturdy. Yeah. Oh, the colour looks so nice with the floor. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to tidy up and go home and have some dinner. So we will be back on Tuesday, Wednesday and start moving in. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of our moving vlogs and everything else that's going on. And um, let me know down below what your favorite part of the video was. Thanks. Have a great night. Bye.